What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. You guys know what time it is. Oh, by the way, somebody asked me in the videos, is there any videos of you fighting? Yes, there is actually a video of me fighting that I posted a while ago. It was when it was, I was blue belt. That was my last competition in blue belt where I took first place. I, I beat up everybody. For those of you guys who maybe, uh, you know, would like to see me in action or have some kind of doubt that I actually, you know, do judo, I'll, I'll try to find something and put something together for you guys. This pandemic lifts and we're able to train again in judo. You guys are going to see like, yeah. Uh, this question is from Antonio Flores. Hey Shadi and OG, uh, I think, oh Shadi commented on one of my videos, Shadi is from, um, he has his own channel, he's on, the, he's on YouTube also, it's more about grappling, judo specifically, but grappling and the history of, you know, judo and grappling sports and all that, it's a really, really cool channel. I don't think the Abu Dhabi tournament is the mecca for grappling like many guys say because the rules are pretty much set up for BJJ guys. If you were the organizers of a truly inclusive mecca grappling tournament, what rules and what style of gi would you have in order you could win the tournament no matter if you come from Greco-Roman wrestling or BJJ or judo or sambo background? How would you score takedowns and pins and all that stuff? For those of you guys who don't know, uh, ADCC, Abu Dhabi Combat Club, right, is considered um, one of the ultimate competition for uh, grapplers. But essentially, it's, um, it's no gi. And I think the point system favor a lot wrestlers, guys who take down. I'm not sure about the whole rule set. I'm not sure if you could pull guard or not, or I don't know all the rules. It's been a little while. I have an understanding, general idea of what they are in terms of points and all that, but I don't want to get into that. If I were to organize the ultimate, the ultimate like grappling, you know, grappling, right? Just grappling competition, I would make two of them. I would create two of them. So you would have one with the gi, and one with no gi. Essentially, everything would be allowed. There's a difference between a judo gi, sambo gi. Sambo gis, they, they, they got the shoulders flying out like this, you know, like Dragon Ball. <laughs> the loops where you put your belt through. So the belt doesn't come off. Like that thing is, is solid, you know? Both of them are really thick as heck. Maybe I would go with the sambo gi top and then we would still wear a pair of pants and there would be essentially, okay, obviously no striking. And of course we'd have to work out the time limit and all that, um, you know, for the matches. You would be allowed to choke. You would be allowed to leg lock, heel hook. Uh, you would be allowed to slam. If you're in an arm bar, you could pick up the guy, slam him. If the guys, if you're in his guard, you could pick him up and slam him. Okay, so that way it's going to allow for a more uh, fun and realistic fighting grappling right because it's like it would have to be like for the ultimate grappler instead of just oh he just trained he's just good but only specifically under those rule sets and then of course for the no gi no restrictions in terms of the locks in terms of what you're allowed to do i know we need points but i feel as though if we just fight it out we, we put it for like let's say 20 or 30 minutes or something like that people have to go and they have to submit each other worst case at the end at the end okay like the judges like we'll put i don't know three judges or, or more, and then the judges will decide, okay, you know, based on, uh, you know, who was the most active, who was going the most for it, who was like essentially running out of gas and about to die, like about to get submitted anyway and get his ass beat. No restrictions in terms of what you could do. You could slam from all over the place because that way you guys won't be able to pull guard. If you jump and pull guard, the guy pick you up, slam your ass and you'd be dead. That'd be funny. One round big time limit and essentially no rules and we would split it up gi and no gi all right guys so that was it for this video thank you very much for watching love you guys see you guys in the next one peace so thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and click on the notification bell also there's a link down below if you guys click on it it's going to bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms and you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.